and it is up and going. We everybody get some video. We are. Uh, what days do I stream? On uh, Saturday night, Sunday night, and Wednesday night. Uh, I always try to tell people I'm going to do some randoms in the middle, but it hasn't happened because I'm very busy. Um, hopefully that will change, uh, but that's the current schedule. It's actually in below, below this video. If you kind of scroll down, you'll see it. And uh, it's lots of good stuff there, so... I'm gonna get my gear. I need to change my clothes. Mm. Get my pants. Can't get my pants on. Alright. Equipment is good. What do you guys want me to take? Can't figure out how to play the hunter. Keep watching, you'll learn it. So laggy. Well, it might be the performance of your PC. You said, I don't think you're barely cutting the requirements. I don't, I don't know. A lot of graph, a very graphical game with very large map and animals. Um, so what do you guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just flip out for the uh, crossbokes. I haven't shown that one off much yet. And we'll throw the scope on there. And uh, we'll go to the, in the weapons tab. Um, screw this. Clear equipment. Let's just start over fresh. Always get the binoculars. And we're going to get the, um, let's see here. We're going to get the predator call. He's connected. We're going to get the, there's no elk in here. To take the roe deer. Uh, the moose call. Definitely want to take scent spray. I'm thinking that should be good. Look, I'm forgetting one other thing, but no, that's Melda. That's good. Pistol, we're going to definitely take 454. It'll be used on moose, bear, all that good stuff. And uh, we're going to take the uh, handgun scope for it. And here we're going to take, actually, do this. There's our longbow. Put him down there. Crossbow. Scope for crossbow. Um, rifle. What should we take for a rifle? Needs to be able to kill a brown bear. Should take the 308. Oh, we did pretty good in spin tires. Plan Evil failed. Always. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it went pretty well. We ended up purposely crashing our trucks to make it make it stop. Um, I don't know. What, what do you guys want to see for a rifle? Oh, 454 and a 300. Sorry about that. Okay. Got a 300? Yeah, 300. Okay. Apologize. Miss that. We're going to put this scope on it. It looks sharp. And uh, now we've got all of our different tools here. And put some ammo. At least an extra for each of the weapons. We need compound. Oh, no we don't. Uh, we need longbow. Should be this one. That's recurve. White ones. White, gray. And then we got to add uh, our green. For the crossbow. And... And then we need 454. Um, I suppose we'll go ahead and take one more of each, because that's the max you can take. And that way we got plenty of... Oh, at 300 we'll probably... We got plenty. We won't be using that that much. And um, look at what we got here. This is our clothing attire. One of the things I like about having the, the tent up here is that we can actually get in and spawn in. You're on top of a mountain, so I always like to check. I'm sure Evil probably has already. Good to look around because we are far enough from the barrel. If we've seen a bear over here, uh, which I have, I've seen a lot of moose, we can shoot them without screwing up our barrel. And it's a freebie. 
Nice long range uh, gun gunshot. But uh, I don't see anything, so. Off to snowing like a bastard, though. Off to see the wizard. Gosh, I haven't played this game in like three days. Do I like the snow? Hell yes, I do. This is so real life like to me because uh, I always hunt in the snow. Many whitetail hunts with uh, snow falling that you couldn't see very far in front of you. And I, I love them. The deer usually have to move because usually if it's cold. Oh, the deer hunter 12, thank you. So we've been, we got to show some love to the hunter. I know some people don't like it, other people love it. Um, it's a different one to watch, but uh, it is one of my staple games and it's uh, very important in my channel and it's going to be getting more important in the future. Um, I've really linked up with a lot of, uh, you know, YouTubers, well-known uh, hunter YouTubers, played with some of them, and also people that don't do YouTube that are just very good at the hunter, uh, even like this uh, jackass in front of me. If I could get a middle finger, I probably would. <laughs> we got a wave. <laughs> so, if you guys remember like I do, when I started playing with Evil here a few months ago, he was burned out of the game, didn't have a lot of other people that he was playing with that got really burned out, which does happen. Um, but he got linked up with uh, with with me. Now, with me and, a f and several others, I think he's really enjoying the game. Maybe he'll give us a thumbs up if he's enjoying it or thumbs down if it sucks balls. I don't know. Thumbs up. He likes it. <laughs> and I think we've all been... I've been having a hell of a lot more fun playing with a bunch of people and uh, things like that. And uh, But what I was getting at was, you know, I've been also playing with people that, you know, don't do YouTube. Maybe because they have, uh, uh, you know, real jobs. Real real things going on in life. Don't have time. But they're all very good hunters, like uh, Decoy13 and got a high score. But I, was, but I guess what I was getting at is uh, Evil here... When we started playing together about, uh, maybe it's been two months, we started doing the Hunter. His score was what I have right now, 291. And if you look at it there on the top of the screen, it is now uh, 601. And um, he's been been hitting some pretty big milestones there. And so it, it, it's encouraging to me too because I was uh, level 100 about when I started. Doing the Twitch or whatnot, and I've been putting hours in, and I've jumped up 200, well, 150, we'll say. I think it was about 120, 118, whatever. And uh, it just shows you that this game, you know, it takes a while to get your score up there, but then when you start hitting some big milestones, you'll stop getting the 1 and the 2 and the 5 points for the, the milestones, and you'll be getting 15, 20, 30 uh, for each one, and that's when your score really starts to jump up. Uh, there's no doubt that he's probably spent more hours hunting uh, in the last two months since we've been playing together, but um, I can't be that far behind him, so you can see how how nice that the game is that once you start getting up there, it really... And, uh, Evil, do you know how much hours you have in here? I'm th I think I have about 250... He's probably, you he probably got at least double that. Oh, a lot more. Triple, we'll say. But you can see uh, that he's definitely, I don't know, I might not be hitting uh, as many milestones. I think Evil would be a lot higher score if, if he owned more weapons. There's no doubt, because he's come through and he's busted out a lot of, uh, all of his guns. Even the single shot shotgun, he got it to the highest level at 250 kills. And I'm looking at it like... Oh my god. How am I going to get that done? <laughs> so. Get more guns in there. I bet you'll be up to a thousand before you know. You'll be passing Shoddy up. Shoddy's about a 700 right now.
Sorry, fell asleep for a few minutes. Holy crap, got people falling asleep. Get that off my screen. Get our guns loaded up. Got a few on the barrel at the moment. Nice. Get all of our guns loaded up. Oh, and that was the uh, 454. You see, that's a relatively new pistol from a few weeks ago. Watch the animation here. It's cranking it. Got a little hand crank. Nice little scope here. 10, 20, 30, 40 is what those dots are. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put some uh, cologne on. Gonna smell nice for the bear. There's the 454 that we uh, talked about. That is the hand cannon. Very good at dropping bear. Try it out today if we can, but we cannot shoot on the barrel right away because otherwise we will sit there and have sleeping simulator. It will be very bad. Uh, every time you shoot, there's a couple bear on there. When you shoot a bow, it takes five to eight minutes usually for bear to come back. Or any animal with a silent weapon like a bow. There's three bear that we know of already. When you shoot with a gun, it's between 20 and 30 minutes that you will sit there. Now, sometimes there can be 10 minutes, or even it could be 8, but uh, that's an extremely rare event. You can pretty much guarantee if you shoot the gun, 20 minutes minimum, I'd say, to 30 minutes before another animal comes back. So we've got to start killing with the, the bows, and towards the end, hopefully we'll be able to get a bear and to finish out our bear hunt. So we'll switch up between the ultra modern crossbow and the extremely old school longbow. Both of which, well, I think I like the longbow honestly over the crossbow. I've dropped bears a lot better with it. We've got two tree stands up here that we're going to hop into. We've got a bear over here. It's a good way to get mauled. That thing is 38 meters. Take the lead. Oh, so anybody that's new maybe will find out that uh, I am mall proof as they call me. I have never been mauled in five years. I don't think we could get mauled the first two years so. The first year. I don't know. I don't remember people even talking about it. But my time's got to be running out because there's nothing special about my character. I just have never been mauled, and I've had many animals attempt it, but I've shot them. And you know what? We're going to have to kill this bear right here. They call me the animal... I'm self-proclaimed animal whisperer. I'm going to take this bear. <sighs> they want to do that, but... Um, it's not a good shot, but... Hoping that arrow goes a little deep and hits the lung. Kind of shot it on the... Yeah, lung and heart. That's a great... That's a dead bear. That's a great shot. Don't shoot him in the head. Um, well, there's the first bear. So the first bear that comes in is his. And it's actually pretty good to, that I took a bear right there because that got rid of one of them. And um, we still got another bear right up coming into the barrel. It didn't hear that shot, so maybe we'll get him his his first bear now. Not first ever, but first for the hunt. And uh, I definitely have a dead bear over there. And it's better to scare the bear away than to get mauled and have to start back over. But yeah, I've, I've had many animals try to maul me and I've shot him dead. Um, I've had many animals I tried to let maul me and they either just looked at me and I actually was touching them and they just looked at me like and then ran away or they have uh, come to charge me, got right to me and then t turned and ran the other way. Let's see what this... I don't think we've ever killed bear before we got in a tree stand. Normally we scare them off. The barrel is right up around the corner to us here. 
<laughs> Tight backhand. Rip bear, yes. Will be missed. <laughs> That's 37. 37 meters right now, that bear. So it's probably 35 to you. That's a night that's that's a definite. Pick that when you can get it. Oh, that's not, not any good there. Come over here, out a little ways, and you definitely... Uh, I'm right behind you. It's 33 meters right now to that bear. 33 meters. And walking away. I'd say we maybe creep towards it a little bit. Incredible that we're both getting this close. I've got 37 meters on it. Um, I'm about the same distance away as you. Rud. Thirty meters, it says. And where I am. Um, ooh, good, good, he got a shot on it. Sorry I didn't have my binoculars, I'm not sure. I was getting my, uh, my, my bear cannon here ready. Who are you playing with? Kill that son of a bitch. <laughs> That's how we do around here. Uh, playing with, uh, Evil here. Our moderator from the channel. Dirt, perfect. Thanks for following. Do appreciate it. Um, Evil, would you mind... Uh, well, go ahead. Take whatever stand you want. I'm going to take this one because we've been wondering if this stand over here is a little bit low. Uh, and if it's spooking the bear. But there's only one way to find out. And the day that we tested it, it did okay. But... The problem was, is that this stand, or this game, was having a glitching, really glitchy. The bear were really skittish that day. It didn't matter what you were doing. We were in places and stands that we shouldn't have had trouble, and they were running away. And then the server crashed. During our hunt, the whole server just went belly up, and we lost six bear. We had six bear laying dead right in here. Um, my second bear is coming, so let's do one with the longbow. Let's switch out our gear and let's grab the longbow. And we've got a nice bear hunt here. Not even sure what this one is. We'll probably get the binoculars and take a peek. Oh, it's a female. Okay. Nice longbow kill, old school. I've been... Able to drop several brown bear with this. Not in their tracks, but they'll run about uh, 30 meters and fall over. It's all about the shot placement. If you can get that arrow right into its heart. Um, oh, oh, this stand is not good. Well, I'd say now we kind of know. That sucks. I was about to shoot. That's okay. She will be back. And um, we're going to abandon that stand. And I will take... Yeah, I may have to move that one. Yeah, we'll move that stand. So I'm going to go jump in this other one over here. We'll have to find a different tree to put it on. Maybe this one even would work. I'm not going to do it right now because it... make an awful lot of noise. We'll go get... This one seems to be a lot, lot better. A little bit higher off the ground. I am wearing scent spray. So is he. Using the right camo and kneeling in the tree stand. I was kneeling, so that bear should not have spooked that quickly. Get an M4 and smoke it. <laughs> Yeah, we'll be sitting here. I'm sure there's another bear coming in. 
Not gonna take too long. Try to go for ten. Ten bears, so there's two of them. What did you have for blood? Uh, on your bear. Did you see what it was? He said, oh, not yet, but should have been a good hit. All right. A bazooka. C4. Throw a C4 out of the stand. That'll, get to, that'll take care of the bear. No one like crazy. Buy a gaming PC? Well, they're always good to have. Actually, the snow's making it a little bit more difficult here. Not, not really. There's nothing like nothing we're going to do anyway if there's a bear. There's one right there coming in. 110. Brown bear female. Bigger female this time. We get some big male in here. She's on her way. On her way. Don't stop, lady. 73, that's too far with the longbow. Need to definitely be under, a, uh, God, 30 meters, but probably more like 20 to 25 would be would be the best. On our way into the barrel, and we will be using longbow. Got another bear coming behind us. Might be able to double up on a shot, but. Uh, this one is a male, 230 to 390, coming up right behind me. I think he might beat the female in. Let's do our tree here and kind of see what else is going on. Oh, female's here. Damn it, I might have to pop her. Kinda, kinda nice to see what this male does. He's 51. I guess we're gonna test out these two stands. If these two stands are dinked, then definitely need to move the whole setup. Unfortunately, maybe over there. There's a couple taller trees over there, and I'll have to move the barrel a little bit closer. She is right now 8 meters and directly under me. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, in real life, I'd be pooping my pants. Outlast style. Oh, crap, the male ran. What in the hell? Uh-oh. Okay, where's the female? What? Female busted me. Son of a... Mm. I'm going to have to move my barrel event. This is a very good spot, but I'm going to have to move it. Uh, well, now we know. Found out the hard way. Gambled on the mail. It was a, a bigger mail that was coming, and now they'll be back. They don't go far for long, and we know that we had another female on her way back. In the meantime, we're going to call for Fox... And row. And we'll throw a moose out there. The so way can maybe shoot some other animals with the bow. Also, we've had fox come in here several times. We've had moose come in here a few several times or a few times. And we've even had I saw a shoddy kill a massive row 
if you can call them massive, but it was big for a roe deer. Uh, very high up on the scoring list, he shot right right uh, over there by that rock. So, other than that, I haven't really seen too many roe deer. Yeah, Outlast style is not not pretty. Not pretty at all. Another thing, okay, we got one bear that's coming back already. One of the things I was trying to hope for is to get the the male in here that we could double up and each get a each kill one, but um, we're gonna have to take them as they come in. Don't matter what they are. This is a female that's sitting up here. The bear will only run about a hundred, three hundred meters away, and it'll stop. Oof, me. A long day. They'll stop and come back. A male beauty sleep. Hey, cowboy fan. Or, hundo. No problem. Sorry I didn't see you leave there. No problem. I understand it's Sunday night. Sunday night, and everybody's got to get their rest for Monday. But it's sure nice to come in and do another bow hunt again, and have some new... Some new weapons that are new tools at our disposal. Hunter boy is back. We'll definitely smoke the next bear. I'm not gonna wait. When they're in distance to shoot, we're gonna shoot because I think that we might have a, some stand issues here. And I don't want to lose any more bear. I knew that stand there was questionable, but um, we had a few run. But the day that we did, we were having bear run for no reason. So there's another bear coming up behind us. See if we can look through our tree here. It's kind of a little glitch, but now according to I've never tried it, but according to Shoddy, you can actually shoot through the tree if you can see it. Yeah, females coming up right behind me. I might have to have him shoot it. I don't know. He's not going to have a good shot either. Look at her run. You wounded? Oh, there's two coming up behind me. Two female. 340 and a 340. Both same size. We might be able to double up if this works. Because that one over there is not uh, going in the right direction for me. She comes... No, she's actually going away from me. Oh my god, there's another bear. There's three bears. There's another one behind him. Very big hot spot. We know we got a dead... Two dead bears. There's another bear. There's two... Four. There's four bears in here right now. Where the hell did the other one come from? Alright, I'm taking this one here. Nice. That should be a nice shot right there. Hopefully he drops within sight. Nice longbow. And he slowed down already. I think he's going to topple over. Don't see him leaving. Maybe Evil can see right behind a tree for me. That's if he went straight up the hill and the tree blocked the whole thing. We've got, um, that looks like a bright blood. Yeah, he's down. Nice. There's another one. There's a nice longbow. Old school. Indian style. No more wine? No, I don't know. I don't usually drink wine from little bottles. It's weird, but, uh, this is from 2006. It's a cheaper turning leaf. And, um... I I don't know I I like this but usually I like it when I eat uh like a big meal with like meat like I like a red wine. Pretty good. Pretty good. I don't know. Only ten year old wine though. Uh, one by the rock. And we'll try to get uh, one more bear with the bow and then. Um, I'm going to try to do maybe a double up with the 44 or something. That's a nice, looks like a big female, but it's a 300. 
A medium female, small female, I don't know. He's gonna blast it. Oh, just later right over. Nice job. Parker Python. Just dropped her in her track. That's a great shot. That's a nice heart shot. I bet. Nice heart shot. Just freaking get that one. Part Chippewa. Chippewa. Gherkin the Chippewa. Chippewa are from part of the country I'm in. Where are you, in Wisconsin or Minnesota? Or the Dakotas? I don't know. Chippewa went all the way out to the Dakotas, did they? I know they're around here, where I am. Went through a Chippewa reservation not long ago. I go, go through one on the way to our hunting land. Drive through there. Oh, Michigan, okay. I've only been to Michigan once, uh, the northern part, northern peninsula, so I didn't, don't honestly know a lot about the state of Michigan, but uh, Chippewa are all the way out there too. Well, there's a lot of, lot of uh, Chippewa in Wisconsin. And down in Tennessee where I was, uh, well, East Tennessee there was all the Cherokee. Got a nice uh, female coming, coming back. And we got another one over here. One behind you as a male. What do you guys want me to shoot with? Pick a bow. Pick a bow, pick a bow. Nice male right here. Oh, he's a big one. We can't screw this one up. We get him, get him uh, Chippewa style. Oh, oh my God, he's so close under me. Oh, he's a big boy. He is a big boy. I hope we got him good. I might track that one a little bit. I don't like those straight down shots, but uh, definitely easy to hit them. <laughs> definitely easy to hit them. Uh, it's just hard to get into the vital. You know, you're kind of, you know, if I would have shot him in the spine, I'd have dropped him. He'd have been alive, but I would have dropped him right there. Crossbow. Sorry about that. We'll get the next one, crossbow. One dying, dying at my point. Oh, there's one dying at your point. Okay. Dieting. I thought he was on a diet. Uh, your point is where? Over here. Huh? Oh, yeah, there's one dying. Wait, one one ran away. It might have been that one that I shot or something. Yeah, there's one right there dying. That's a female. Um, probably left and then came back and she's she's going to croak right there. Gonna kick the old bucket. There she goes. Lights are out. So we got a couple bear real close to pick up. We got another one coming in on us. Coming in behind me. Come on, bear. Keep walking. Oh, can't read it quick enough. Oh man, the machine gun. Yeah, no, it's all broken nonstop. <laughs> I'm gonna really have to get to the bottom of things this week. There's not much I can do. It's a smaller male, and he sniffed me out, but I couldn't shoot him. I couldn't have shot him anyway. Um, would have glitched out and probably hit the tree right next to me. Oh, you know what though? We've gotta check our six minutes so yeah I've still got scent spray and I'm in a stand and I'm kneeling so there's nothing else I could have done 
He'll be back. Let's change our bows out. That was enough of the long bow. Try to take one more with the crossbow, and then we'll try to do some some uh, 454 killing. Um, go in here. So this is the. I almost like the iron sight more on this, but at the end of the day, it is also. I don't even know what the pins are. What is it? 2040 or something, or 2030. Kind of hard to understand. And the scope does help. As we said before, we've got 10, 20, 30, 40 is at the bottom. Uh, and how did it go again? The bottom of the black is 50. The line underneath the green, and then, or is it more than that? Forget how you guys said it. And then the bottom, the very bottom, the thick black was what? Is that a hundred or eighty or something? Sixty? Eighty? Around a hundred. Around a hundred meters is the, the bottom of the thick, the thick uh, black crosshair. Roughly. You know what, if you shot something that far away and you missed, probably you're not going to spook it. And you'll probably get to have a couple more shots at it. Now if you barely skin the thing, yeah, you're not. it's, it's going to take off. Kill one with the 300? Um, we'll see. Uh, I'd rather use the more interesting. The 300 is uh, pretty much guaranteed going to just... I mean, you hit them in the vitals, like where, where I've been shooting them more than likely they're going to drop right in their tracks. Um, but the, uh, we'll, we'll try, you know, we'll, we'll see. I don't know about if it's going to be a brown bear, see if we can get something else to shoot. The, um, 454 is what I want to try to, try to shoot. Do you think that there's any possibility that that bear could spook them? It's not supposed to, but... It was a glitch that uh, that they were at one point. Female, 80 meters. Those are 300. Great rifle. Good all around. Awesome power. Everything is great. The only problem is once you shoot it, uh, you, you get zoomed out of the scope to put another round. It's like a single shot. And um, it's hard to get a second shot, but you know with this gun, it's so good that normally you don't don't need to hold your breath. Boom. <sighs> Fifty cal. That'd been fun. Um, I would love to do a bear hunt where we do old school. Well, we kind of just did the longbow, but come out here with the longbow, muzzle loader, and. Uh, you know, shoot a, full, shoot a few with the old smoke pole. Try to get a moose, so well, I'd love to. Love to shoot a moose with the 300. If I saw a moose, oh, of course, the 454 is <laughs> kind of nice to do, use that too. I haven't shot but five things maybe or so with it. I haven't, haven't used it. I'm not seeing, not seeing the bear, the bear. Whose turn is it anyway? Oh crap. Um, I remember I shot the big one with the longbow. That was the last thing I did. A spear. Do you guys remember who went last? All I remember is I killed the big, I shot at the big one. I think that was the last one. I think it's his. No. Doesn't matter. 
have you take the next one anyway, because I want to wait and take one with the 454 at least. Oh, there's one coming right over here. It might be that one you said. Email, yeah. Could use binoculars. We're looking at 60 meters right now. Oh, we got two. We got another one over here. Two female. The good news is, is there are other bear. Uh, that's a nice one. He shoots one more. I know I at least got one more to shoot. We know we've got at least eight bear then. <clears throat> Always hoping for ten. What is the weather? Oh, it's nice out here. Ugh. Getting tired, folks. Game is so uh, so calming. I wish that other one would hurry up and get in here, cause I'll as soon as he shoots with the the bow, I'll shoot one with the other deal. If you take the one on the left, if it would come in, I'd plug this one with the 454 as it's running away. I almost want to do it with the iron sight. But I'm not going to if he's if if it's a running away bear. I don't know. I, I really should try that. I hope she doesn't spook. Get ready. All right. Got to listen. Just dropped mine. <laughs> That's a 454 right there for you, folks. That thing is a beast. <laughs> she wasn't a real big bear, but she went down like a sack of potato. Just freaking dropped. That was that was a good one to get the heart pumping. Love this gun. Just freaking love it. And I, I really kind of wish now I would have had it. <laughs> we pick up some bear. Uh, do you think that might be it? That's eight of them. Or nine or... Oh, 19. That's a nice female. Uh, oh, medium. Probably go ahead and pick up the bear uh, that we've got down and... Possibly we'd be able to come back and uh, have more come in. Now I have shot, so there's not going to be anything else coming in for you know, a little bit at least. Minimum of 10 to 15, I'd say, but probably more like 20. So this one was a 20. It was a female, and it was right in the left lung. So she went down real nice. And uh, this for shoots and giggles, we will get our pistol out. Uh, three. Up the head. Nice close trophy shot. Just a beauty right there. Nice 454 kill. And um, I'm not sure what's up the hill there that he's about to get. I'm thinking that might be that female that I shot. Uh, but we're going to go after my male. I've got that one, the one over there. Uh, that was his. Nice. I'm kind of confused on what we've got, but um, I definitely want to follow my... Big male back. Where's my... I think this might be his blood trail right here. 
No, that's the one that died over there. Okay, yeah, I, I did go after four, and I got a lung heart. And he said it dropped over here. We will go and pick that up. Yeah, watch die. Yeah, he got that one. I do got four, and I see a bear already dead up here. It must be this one. Um, and then I've got the one that I shot walking in. So yeah, I should have four bear, and I think he's got about the same. And the goal is, is hopefully we can find them all. Very good to click on all these points and level up. What you want to see is always a lung heart shot. And uh, when you got lung heart blood, you definitely got a dead animal. Uh, you know, don't give up on looking for it because it will for sure be dead. It's not going to go anywhere. And I, very rarely do they go very far. There's my nice uh, long bow uh, arrow in there. And that's a 25. That's a nice, uh, nice male right there. Um, I'll go ahead and get my other one. Oh, mission complete, completed. Hitter. Hit, mission heavy hitter. Okay. Thought it said Hitler for a minute. I thought, what the hell has he got to do with my hunt? Uh, um, let me get my... Oh, I got the wrong bow. Oh well. Let's just put all of our stuff away. And focus on the bear in this case. That is a dandy. The white arrow sticking out. Uh, any hunter that knows would know that that's uh, definitely a long bow. That is a nice trophy shot right there, folks. Just a big bear. Big guy. Nice biggin. Heavy hitter. Completed a mission when I did that. There's some free GMs right there. Alright, now we're going to go after the big male. The one that could be uh, anywhere from a nice size to a record. Um, and the weight, I think the, the weight goes up as high as 470. And for me it said, I think four, it said 470. So, hopefully... I can find him. Don't think that was him that I just picked up. That's the one that he watched die. There's one fleeing. I think it might be... Oh, I don't know. Might have to go back to the barrel or my tree stand. I'm going to stand up for a moment. I am very confused on exactly where... He was standing right underneath. Even figure out where the hell the tree stand is. Okay, it's over here. Hopefully, it's right in front of me. Hopefully, this is blood. Yes. All right, this should be the big guy. Now that was him walking in, so this would be him walking out. Hopefully, right here. More blood. This is a body shot, so that's. That's the one that I shot nearly directly underneath me, and I don't think the arrow did a good job, so this one we might be tracking for a wee bit. Don't know yet. Oh god, there's, he walked in here so many times. Well. 
We'll collect that, but that's not where he fled. Hmm, here's blood. And it zigzagged on us. Blew a doe's brain out. Okay. Let's keep going up here. Got more fleeing tracks. Uh, I'll probably get up to the top of this hill and then I'm going to crouch walk again. Oh boy, where did he go? Where's the tracks? Oh, I've got a dead bear right up here I just spotted. Oh, it's a dead and dying bear. Still alive, but he's on his way out. Fired at another one with the Parker Python. This might be my big guy right here. I could just get confirmation from this friggin' binoculars deal. I highly doubt it's this one sleeping. mind it's dead. This is hard because it, the way that it died on that rock it looks like it's got its head up but it actually has its head on perched up on a rock and I can see its paws underneath it. This one is dead. He's not just sleeping I hope. Just to be safe we will get out the We'll get out to 300. In case if he gets up and decides to run. That is a dead bear. He looks sad. Oh, and here's my tracks for my bear right here. See how this glowing? Probably him piecing out and then he walked up and died on that rock. Thing. Yeah, I think this is it. Crazy how he died on that rock because it makes it look like he's still alive. Oh, shoot it. That is not what you want to do. You do not want to shoot it again. There's my arrow. Yeah, you do. You, the, the, this game's not a slaughter fest. You do not want to shoot things in, again unless if you have to. Uh, if they're already dead, uh, you're, you know, that's, I don't want to call somebody a noob or anything, but that's what noobs do, do in here. Uh, and then they wonder, and then they go on Steam and then they cuss the game out because they can't come in and they can't hunt anything. And I've been in here with noobs and we've seen them how they hunt and it makes our jaws just drop open because they can literally come in for a four hour, four hour hunt and not kill a damn thing and maybe, um, if they do, they only kill one thing, and you can't you can't hunt like that. So if if the animal's dead, then or you think it's dead, it's better to wait and only shoot it if you absolutely have to, especially with a gun, because if it was alive and I plugged it again with the gun, it would not be a longbow kill that I had to work harder for. Uh, I can come in here and kill uh, with the other. Gun. Anytime. So this one actually was a little bit smaller than the other one. And again, I don't have my longbow out, but uh, I suppose we could take a picture. Since it was a longbow, and I don't have the longbow, it's in my inventory, so... We will just move in. Gotta get a nice trophy shot. We'll get our guy to kneel down. Pin him. Lift the bear's head up. Drop it. Drop it again.
Oh boy. Here's a nice trophy shot. Just a great looking bear, 24, not too bad. And then we got one more to go. Oh, didn't think it was dead. Well, if if I would have been within range for a longbow, and that was what my aim was, is to get close enough to either verify if it was dead or get another longbow shot. And sometimes, you know, if, if, if you think you might be in a bad tracking situation, I'll shoot something with a bow, track it forever in eight days, and then I see it again. Oh. Yes, I definitely will shoot it with a gun because I'm just like, this thing ain't going down easy. I'm tired of tracking it. I want it dead, and I want it dead now. Uh, so. But, um, I, again, I wasn't calling anybody a noob. Uh, I'm just saying that's what, you know, a lot of other people that are new to the game do. Kind of kind of come in here with a little bit of a Call of Duty mentality sometimes. <laughs> I think evil might type right now all the time. <laughs> We've seen a lot of crazy stuff. Um, not everybody, though. Especially if people hunted in real life, they usually have a pretty good understanding of the game. And uh, usually come in here... Um, kind of doing the right thing. We got a moose. Male moose. But I don't have a... So I've got three, he's got three, and I know I've got one more dead that I walked in on, so... I think. Also, if that one I picked up was the one I walked in. No, that was a long one. Oh, we got another bear right here. What do you... Do we do a 454 or... Wait a minute, do we got two bear? Alright, I'm gonna give these guys the... Happy satisfaction that they want and do a 300. Gotta watch out because we could be mauled. There's your 300 kill. Waited for it to get nice and close. I'd say we were pretty damn close to getting mauled. We dropped that one in his tracks. I mean, that was only about five meters, and I'm on the ground. I'm surprised that... I'm thinking this might not be a very big one. It probably would have mauled my ass had it known I was sitting there. And let's go ahead in there. Uh, that was a 21. That was not a bad bear. It was a nice left lung and heart. Right lung. We wiped out everything with that bullet. It was a female, as I suspected, and it was... A decent female, but um, how many meter? That was nine meters, 9.7 meters away. That was in definite danger zone. And we'll get a 300 shot just, just for the heck of it. That's a nice one there. We'll pick the head up. Nice shot right there. Nice mountains in the background. A little bit of trees. Beautiful trophy shot for the books. Like that. That scared the hell out of me. Gotta stop sleeping. That was a nice give me right there. So we should always, on a good bait site, we should be able to clean out 10 bear. Um, I'm thinking that was my... Well, it's obviously my number 4th, but I think the 5th one... I don't think the one I picked up over here was my number 5. It shouldn't have been, so... I'm gonna go back to where we walked in. Uh, Evil, what are you up to over there? I'm on blood. Where is it the one that I shot on the way in?
Take sleep medicine to help you fall asleep. All right, well, I'm going to get down on my barrel and... Jump on the... Where are, where are you? Oh. Yeah, that... I don't know if that'll be or not. It started over here, you know, where we walked in. <laughs> Drugged up. Oh, thank you, dear hunter. Check out Protzi's videos too. He he entertains me when I watch the hunter and I catch his live streams because uh, he live streams about the middle of the afternoon during the weekdays because he's in uh, in Germany and so he'll live stream in the evening for him. But you know it happens to be right around right around lunchtime. So I'll stay here and eat some lunch and watch watch him and. Uh, him and Fapes. <laughs> I almost said fap, fappin. Hey, you got one for me. There you go, Springfield, 18. And that was with the... That was my crossbow. I think that was my only crossbow. I did two with the long, 454, 300, crossbow. So, nice. All right, well that just saved me, and do you still have a bear down? You, it says you've gotten uh, three. I thought you shot at four. That's eight bear we've picked up. Which eight, you know, could be only eight, but... Uh, Still got another one? You think? I do have tracks around here, so we know there's another bear. I've got two sets of tracks, so there are ten. Probably shouldn't have used the 300 on that one. Uh, we've also got moose around here, too, so... I wasn't even using scent spray when that damn one got nine meters from me. I'm gonna jump in this stand if you don't mind. I'm gonna try this one out. I don't know if I've sat up in this one yet. Pretty much the same as the other one, just looking at the bait barrel from a different angle. And we got we've got two more bear that we know of. And like I said, there's moose. Let's see if we can call a moose over. It's actually a male moose. Let's work the crap out of our calls and see what we can get over here. So I was talking to my dad today, who's a he's gotten to be a pretty big turkey hunter the last few years. Is that him? Oh, he... Yeah, he blew the call. <laughs> I was like, crap, that was fast. Um, there's been people, some of my buddies have been saying with the with the uh, owl call for the turkey that it's uh, not good or anything. I was talking to my dad today about it, because like I said, he's been uh, really into the turkey hunting for the last five, eight years now. Probably been more like eight, and he's killed a nice turkey every year and some years he's done it twice because he does the fall hunt also I think every year he's done the fall hunt so I'd say he's pretty good at what he does he gets one all the time on the first day out oh, I saw something over there and uh, said so how do you do it you know how are you doing it and he said well I get out to the woods I'm out there no later than 5 a.m. the sun is coming up uh, it's still dark a little bit and he said, the first thing I do, I walk in the woods, I blow my owl collar. He says, that, and I says, does that attract him? I mean, he's like, nope. 
All it does is it gets all of the turkey in the woods to call in, and he said it works great. He's like, it's my favorite call because it's you show up to the woods, you blow the, the owl call, and the turkeys will start gobbling like crazy. And he said, then you just pick out what direction you heard the gobbles, and you start walking that direction. And you get about as close as you can in that direction that you feel comfortable with without scaring. And you set down and grab your box collar or he's got his uh, Jake collar or whatever. He's got a couple different colors. And then you start calling on them. And he said, you'll have turkeys jumping out of the trees and everywhere else just getting all bent out of shape. And they come in. There's a bear coming up behind us, which is good because I shot my 300 right over there. We've got two more bear to pick to, to kill here. That next one is definitely his. And so... um. That's it. And every every season, I think my dad's killed a turkey right away on the first day out. I don't think he really goes out a second day. He goes out, kills a turkey in the morning, and he's done, and that's it. Um, him and his buddy both do. His buddy's been turkey hunting his whole life, and he's like probably almost 50, I guess. He's a little younger than my dad, but he's the one that got my dad into it a bunch of years back. So... Uh, I've never turkey hunted in RL, and I'm going to definitely get out. Probably not this fall hunt, but definitely next spring, and I'm going to de definitely take a GoPro with. Get that all on video. Wow! Jesus! Just dropped it. There's another 300 for you, ladies and gents. Just freaking hammered it. Nice job. Dropped that bear. Thumbs up. Great success. Two forty three for whitetail hunting. Um I'm not sure your age, your stature, but uh, two forty three is not bad for whitetail. But if it was me, um my grandfather hunted with the two forty three his whole life and uh killed deer every year with it. I would go for something a little bit bigger. If you like flat, if you're hunting with nice flat trajectory, nice, you know, nice, nice flat area, a 270 is really good. Um, 23, that's a great, nice bear. You could also go with a, uh, my favorite, my personal favorite, because of its, uh, you know, how many, uh, how versatile it is, is a 30 out of 6. You're going to get a little bit more kick with that. Um, you know, two two forty three is really nice, really nice for young young people. Uh, women like it. It's it's a great caliber that for whitetail. Uh, otherwise, you know, you've got the two seventy. You could you could go that route too. That's gonna that's gonna be something a little bit more. If if you're younger, you can grow into that. I think when you get to be an adult, you'll you'll be happy with the two seventy still. Uh, 243, you'll probably be like, well, let me see about getting something bigger. Now, my dad has killed a deer nearly every year, and he, his whole life, has used the same Winchester Model 94 3030. He loves it and won't let it go. Um, he did kill a deer one year with my 30 out of 6 and did not like that at all. <laughs> he said it was too much kick on the shoulder. Um, of course, my dad has had shoulder injuries uh, from farming and f playing football when he was younger. And so uh, I think he pretty much has a sore shoulder all the time. And I think that that gun uh, kicked him a little bit. But um, 270 is a good one. I, I don't. I don't like it. I don't want to say I don't like it. I don't. I didn't choose a 270 only because 30 out 6 you're getting a little bit, more, little bit more oomph and. You can shoot heavier caliber bullet if you're if you're gonna be hunting varmint out west. You could put a 125 caliber uh, bullet in it, a grain. Sorry, uh, not caliber grain. You could um, if you're gonna be hunting nice open field areas. You really want to reach out there and hit them. A uh, nice 150 grain bullet is you know is really good. Uh, if you're kind of gonna be an in between hunter, which is one I chose, I went with 165. Uh, there's also Winchester that's making 175 now, which I've never shot those out of my 30 odd six. That'd be a good one too, kind of in the middle. Uh, 180 grain is what I've 
I'm thinking about switching to. Uh, you got a little bit more knockdown power, and it's. I don't do a lot of long range shooting. I I could on our land, but I don't. I just don't like. To, I like to get them when they're closer. But um, you now, if you're doing a lot of closer hunting, a 180 grain would be uh, perfect. And if you're really going to be in some heavier brush area, they've got the 220 grain. I believe, or 200 grain. I could be wrong on that 220. But they do have a heavier bullet than the 180 even. Um, and that would really give you a hell of a wallop to take down a whitetail, uh, especially when he's close. Yeah, 243, my grandfather used one his, his whole life, and he took deer every year. Nice, nice flat tra tra uh, trajectory. I'm too tired to talk. But... Um, just lacking in overall uh, bullet weight, which is going to result in less uh, less of a kick. Now, if you want to get any of your bigger calibers, you could definitely go with, uh, you know, 300 Magnum. You could go with what I want uh, is a 7mm 7, 7 Magnum. And can't wait till they have one of those in the Hunter. I think eventually they'll cover them all, um, but they're those are really a pricey, pricey to pricey to shoot. Looking at a box of bullets, a seven mm the other day, that's fifty dollars for a box twenty five, so two dollars every time you pull the trigger. <laughs> but that gun is one of those once you sight it in, uh, that's a one shot gun. You'll blow a hole right through the side of them, and it ain't gonna go nowhere. Yeah, he's thinking smarter than me. A duck. Yeah, I love a 7mm mag. A guy I hunted with for a long time had one, and boy, I... I don't know why I didn't buy one. I guess I couldn't get a good deal on one at the time when I bought my... I bought my 30 out 6 when I was 21. And, um... Had the money for a 7mm, but I couldn't find a good deal. Uh, got a good deal on a Remington 700 and 30 odd 6, and I went with that, and I've been very, very happy. Now, this fall, I've got to get a, a new scope on it, so I'm going to be scope shopping, and I'll make some YouTube videos out of that. Do some sighting and whatnot, and uh, I'm going to really try hard to get my equipment up to speed so that I can record some of my hunting in RL this year. Can't promise it'll happen, but I'm gonna try like hell to get that to happen. Female moose over here. That's okay, I'll kill anything right now. 700 Express. <laughs> what we need? Oh, 308 is a great round, too. It's on the bigger side. I didn't mention it because he's looking at a 243, but 308 is... Uh, how could you go wrong? I mean, that's a standard uh, sniper round right there. Exit hole the size of a bucket with the 700 Express. That is true. I love this map when the sun is out too. I don't mind it when it snows. I can't stand is hunting in the rain, and this map doesn't have rain. I'm pretty sure they're going to be doctoring this map up with a bunch of animals. Um, we have not seen the last of Hameldal, guarantee you, because it's a hot topic on forums. And they are going to be adding stuff to it. So this map is going to get better. They've acknowledged it already that they'll they'll be adding more. I'm thinking Arctic Hare is probably right around the corner since they've added the rabbit. And this map would do good with a little critter like that. And they've been getting their balls busted about not having enough stuff to kill with a 22 pellet rifle. 
Um, so I think the Arctic Hare is coming, and I'd love to come in here in Arctic Hare. There's fields. The Meldal has fields. So it's a perfect place to come and bust some something. Uh, it's a little bit hard to come in here and shoot birds, but there are different bird species that hang out in the winter. Um, I don't know about in Europe, but we have partridge and things like that. Quail and whatnot, I think, that hang around. But uh, let's see, down down in this region here is kind of field-like. Mountain goat would be nice, but not sure if Euro has them. Yeah, they do. I think we'll definitely be getting mountain goats. Um, I I don't know how they could ignore caribou. I, I think their last hint that they said it's a docile animal, because people were like, oh, it's going to be the wolf. It's going to be... I don't think they're going to put wolf in here. That is a touchy animal to be shooting. Maybe one day, but I I don't I don't I never believed that one was high on the list. I did believe caribou, and they said it's going to be a a gentle, docile animal. And caribou are they're not aggressive and all kind of crap. They pretty much herd up in big herds and they run. I think that'd be a great you know great animal to hunt. Hunting caribou usually they're in large packs and they move through, and I think that would be a blast to shoot those things. So those are some of the animals that I think that are pretty pretty high up on the list to, to see. Uh, I don't believe wolf. Maybe, but I don't know. I, I don't know. We have coyote, I guess, and fox, but... I don't think we're going to see lions in, um, in uh, uh safari map. I, I don't think they're going to go that route. I think that's a little bit unpopular. I've had people say lions and... Need squirrel? Yeah, they do need squirrel, but just imagine, like, having an animal that uh, is running through trees. I'm sure it's quite possible, but that is going to turn up the, uh, the difficulty level quite a bit. And we're going to take this with the crossbow to keep things quiet. Hopefully, uh, Evil could take a look here to scan for bear before we make noise a little bit. I'll shoot this uh, cow up here with the crossbow and make her have a short life. I never have good luck with these things dropping. Very bad luck. Ooh, and I'm standing like an idiot. In the tree stand. Gotta wait for a good vital shot. We do not... I'm gonna also have my... Okay, there we go, there we go. That arrow in there. I think that's a good one. I think we got a good vital shot. Can't wait to see and find out. Try a 30 odd 6 pistol then. My grandpa on the. Oh my god. Jeez, that'd be crazy. Uh-oh, intestinal. That's a dead that's a dead moose, but that's a moose we might have to go after for a little bit. Just a little bit. It's gonna take her a while to die too. But uh I'm gonna head out anyway and I can't believe there's a lot of latency between when I shot and where that I, I believe it's a stomach shot, not an intestinal. I don't think I got that far back, but it won't say stomach. It'll say uh, intestinal on the blood and then you'll find out that they'll drop quick and you'll be like, ooh, that was a quick drop for an intestinal and find out it was a stomach when you go to pick it up. And I'm hoping for that because we were really close. She was moving, but we also shot her with the damn crossbow for crying out loud. Liver, stomach, or intestine, I'll say intestine. Yeah, that's true, liver also. And uh, liver and stomach seem to end it a life, its life a little bit quicker. 338 bolt action lupa. Yeah, 
Yeah, liver and stomach end it quicker than intestine. So when you get an intestine, I, I, I think uh, he's got a good point there. I think liver would be maybe stomach, but I think this is more of liver because, like I said, the moose was awfully close. It was walking, and I shot it with a crossbow right behind the left leg. This is a pretty nice game. Yes, it is. Want to shoot it with your pistol? Shoot what with my pistol? What is, what is over there? Oh, there's a bear behind you. Oh, crap. Well, I can see a uh, market. Did you market? I don't know. I'd love to shoot something else with the 454. That's the bear we were waiting for. Bear is behind me. Close. I'm still wearing cologne. It's at the rock. So oh, it's actually on the other side. Oh, I see it. Shoot, that is a hell of a long shot. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to measure the meters. I'm gonna have to measure the meters because I don't know. 58. We should be able to do a long shot with the 454. Not the not the predator call. That's a Texas heart shot right there if we took it. I walked past him. Get, get your gun ready in case if it runs before I get there. Get your 300 ready. I don't want this bear to get away. I don't want it to beat us. Oh, damn it. I went to go crouch and I got behind a rock. Okay. Oh, I was about to shoot. I was just about to plug it and it started walking. Okay. It's at the bait barrel. Five hundred uh, Smith and Wesson, I'm sure, will end up in the game eventually. <gasps> Shoot it! Shoot it! Spooked. I'll let him go after that one. I popped a round off right, right above it. It might have hit it in the ass. It might not have. And I'll go after my... My other lady here. And that's our last bear. That's a number 10. He's going to have to track that sucker and stalk it and kill it. And we're going to try to go pick up our moose and get on the chase with him. That is number 10 and the last bear because we don't have tracks of any more bear over there. So back on our moose. That gave our moose some time to die too. Time to die. Whoops. <laughs> Just whistled. Whistling only scares bird uh, birds away. So duck and geese and pheasant. It does not scare mammals. So if you accidentally bump the... It's not going to scare anything, so... Moose is fleeing this way. Yeah, Smith and Wesson will. Um, I think it'll come to the game, but I think that it's going to be a long time. I think we're looking at years, because when they feel like the game is starting to get like to the point where what else can they really do... Um, I think they'll start, I don't want to say whoring themselves, for <laughs> that's a really bad way of putting it, because that's not it at all. I think they're going to start putting more things in there, not caring as much about the balance of the game. I think that they'll say, they want a 500 Smith & Wesson and we can make some money, put it out there. And before you know it, we'll be walking around with Mausers in our hand, or uh, howitzers rather, that we'll be towing on carts and blasting the hell out of everything. Um, I don't know why they wouldn't do that. Uh, right now, I completely understand why they wouldn't do that. 
Uh, if you go and put the big, big guns in here, then what do you do? Then people will be asking for RPGs and, uh, you know, IDEs that they can put out next to their bait barrel and all kinds of other nonsense. And I've seen some pretty ridiculous requests on forums. And, and so, oh, he harvested it. He got it. My shot must have missed. Go figure, it was one hell of a long shot. Now I've got to collect a moose. He got his number... He got his number five bear. We each got five bear and I got a moose on the loose. I've got a moose on the loose and I think the tracking threw me off. Left lung heart. Perf oh man, that was a great shot then. Yeah, I think that a lot of these guns uh, will end up coming. But they got to start out with... Uh, you know, you throw a 44 Magnum in there, you're already, you know, getting up there in, in power. And so the 454, that was a smart, smart move. Four fifty four caliber wise, uh, size wise, a bullet. I don't know the grain, but they're the bullet's not a lot. It's a it's bigger, but. It's mainly, the, I think, the powder behind it that really, you know, it's a bigger bullet with a little more powder than the 44 Magnum, I, I, I think, I believe. And um, it's, a, it's a hell of a good wallet. But now the 500, that's just something all completely different. I, I'm not 100% on that, uh, though, because I've, ne I've never shot in, I've never shot in a 500 either. Never shot in a 454. And frankly, those things cost more than a rifle. So, I've looked at 44 Magnum. I've looked at three, 357 is pretty high on my list. I've even been buying 357 ammo because I know it's only a matter of time before I get one. But um, um, yeah, yeah, is this another one? Back on the trail. Um, but 44, I've looked at them, and man, I could get a nice deer rifle with the scope on it for less than a 44 Magnum. They're really pricey. And they're a little bit harder to get ammo for. 357 you can usually get ammo for it at most places, even Wally World. Yeah, Hickok 45's got some videos shooting the 500. It definitely packs a hell of a punch. Break your wrist. The barrel is cleaned out. We did a successful 10 bear, brown bear hunt, killing bear before we even got to the tree stand, killed everything that was on it, there are no more left, we could probably sit there for another 4 hours and maybe, maybe, maybe get one, but I doubt that, I think uh, the game's not got any more in there, and we've got a moose in the loose. Uh, we should be crouch walking. Uh, if we get far enough away, you know, there's always that possibility you could run into another brown bear, but most of them are going to spawn in the barrel, I would believe. Only shot a crossbow, a 22, and a 20 gauge. Oh man, you got to get a hold of a 12 gauge and fire that. I have never shot in a 10 gauge. That is on my list of things I want to do. Looks as though the 454 is thought of as a 44 mag. Uh, looks. Uh, by who? I think it's supposed to be. You know, it's a it's a it's a slightly bigger uh, bullet. Look. Oh, we got our moose right here. You know what? Um, oh god. Should we do crossbow? He's dying. Should we do crossbow? 454. I should finish her off with crossbow, but she's probably going to run again. I want to shoot this thing so bad. I bet you all want me to also. 
Ha <laughs> That was worth it. Damn it, somebody said crossbow. Sorry, there's a 45 second latency. You guys are 45 behind me, so... I didn't want to hurt a spook. I really wanted to shoot the 454 again. I had to do it. I just love shooting that, that, that gun. Ooh, did I, I missed the second shot. Because that third shot, I know I hit her. I see the blood on her. Second shot must have glitched and hit the tree. But yeah, what did we say? It was a 9 meter stomach shot. So, it's gonna, it was taking her a while to die. And uh, I guess that counts as a 454 kill, which that's okay. I need, I need them, um, need them both. But um, that brings us right up to nearly uh, four and a half to five hours, which I think will probably, probably end our live stream here shortly. And he disconnected. We killed everything there was to kill on it.